So, you've just completed your theory test, and you walk to the receptionist to get your results. She passes you your results, and you read it, and you fail by one or two marks. 41, 42 out of 50. You have plenty of time in your theory test, almost one hour, so read the questions carefully. For example, this question, if you read it too quickly, you might read it as, when you're approaching a zebra crossing, you should, and looking through the options, you may think the best option is, stop and wave pedestrians across. But if you read the question again, it says, once you're on a zebra crossing. So, we've already committed to going onto the zebra crossing. So the answer is, never stop unless there's an immediate danger to pedestrians, cyclists, or other motorists. On this question, you may initially think to go for the answer of yes, but you must be carrying at least two passengers. This is incorrect. Remember, someone has to be driving the car, so it's the driver and one passenger. The answer is yes, he must be carrying at least one passenger. If you read the questions carefully, sometimes they even give the answer. So here, which cars have priority, not which car? It's unlikely you would have ever driven through a tunnel on your driving lessons, or even had much experience as a passenger as they're quite rare, but they can still ask you these sorts of questions. So the answer to this one would be, carry on through the tunnel if possible. We don't want you to be stopping in a tunnel when your vehicle's on fire, causing smoke to fill up the tunnel. What about this question? Have you ever seen this sign before? If not, you need to revise motorways more. The answer to this question would be, every lane is closed. Do not proceed any further. What about this question? Make sure you've looked at the back of the highway code for questions about medical and accidents. The answer to this question would be, at least 10 minutes with cool water. Have you revised questions on towing trailers? These questions can be asked. The answer to this question will be 50 miles per hour, as it's the speed limit on a single carriageway for a trailer, not on a dual carriageway. A dual carriageway would be 60 miles per hour for towing a trailer. I couldn't find the exact question from the theory test, but someone once had a question very similar to this on their theory test. Now, you wouldn't know the answer to this unless you really knew your theory. The answer to this question is tune your radio to the emergency frequency. On certain long tunnels, there's an emergency frequency to listen to. For this question, both 12 years or 14 years imprisonment seem plausible. But to know for the answer sure, we need to know our numbers and have looked at the tables at the back of the highway code. You wouldn't know the answer to this one unless you remembered your numbers. The answer to this question is 20 metres. All the options seem plausible though, don't they? When you're practicing the questions, make sure you aim to get at least 48 questions out of 50 correct, which is about 96%. This may seem very high, but bear in mind, on your real theory test, some of the questions will not be published. 
So you might not know the answer to these. So you have to take this into account. Do you know how the hazard perception test works? Many people don't. They score very poorly in this section and fail because of it.